Hi guys, we're back with the world's only live e-collar training show. I realize that, Mike. Unless there's someone else in the world doing it. So, maybe I am ahead of my time. <laughs> Not by much, but still. Uh, but what I'm figuring out with bully breeds is they got a lot of muscle. If you're using a collar, if, if I say, well, part of what I'm doing with an electronic collar is working on the physiology of the dog, triggering impulses, yada, yada, yada. Uh, if you're doing that with constant, once that dog's body tells it slow down and stop, that's what its body's going to continue to tell it. That's the problem. Yeah, these bird dog guys can do it. Those really high drive field trial dogs are, you know, basically like a Malinois. Ah, oh, very forgiving. Who cares? Who cares? They hit me with constant in the wrong place. Who cares? There's a bird over there. And it's still warm. See ya. You know, so they're, they're putting a handle on. Oh, he's drinking out of the wagon. All right, let me grab a towel real quick. But I think, hi, Eileen. How's everything going, girl? Eileen is my uh, very devoted fan who I love. And uh, when she was first on the show as an off-camera character, I kept calling her Ellen. And finally, her husband said, you've got to tell her your name isn't Ellen. <laughs> He didn't understand how we change people's name for the show. <laughs> Eileen's like, I still don't understand that part. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me grab a towel. So I think part of what you're doing, maybe, you know, if you've got a designated training area. Hello, Rosette. Hello, Shy. How's everything going? Oh, he's climbing up on here now. He now believes climbing up on things is good. My whole plan is backfired. But I think you're maybe letting the dog initiate. You know, I know this is only this, this is only as of last Tuesday, but maybe you let the dog initiate the first and then they bam, it was all my idea. All right, let's go back to our job now. I promised Kimberly Ann, you'll be able to get, no, he's in gymnastics now, Kimberly Ann. We've signed him up for junior gymnastics. So he's trying to think to himself what could make. Oh, oh my goodness. So you, you've got to act that quickly. Uh, you know, I understand this. That's, that's what you've got to be. You've got to be a good actor. Am I that thrilled because the dog jumped? No, but am I making it believable? Yes. It, it can't be contrived. Yeah, he's going to do it again. Oh. And you've got to make it happen a few times in a row. I haven't told him to do anything. That's what you have to understand. And I understand now that that's what behavior modification is. If you think I could take this dog and remove the dog aggressive behavior and fill it in with nothing, you just can't do that. It's not, that's what behavior modification is. I only figured this out last Tuesday, but installing behaviors that are gonna exist in that dog, default behaviors. Because I can tell you. Oh, remember? Oh, am I Again, he's saying to himself, I thought that's what was going to happen. It got excited. You know, you've got to say, that's what people are with their dog. If they go get a dog, some treats or something that it likes and gets all excited, they like that, you know? The people like that. I, I understand now, though. Everybody's got the wrong treat. Oh, she's twirling. Oh, how absolutely adorable. I haven't hit the pager yet, but I can now. I think I get a, Let's just see if I get any more. Yay! I think I did get more hype. All right, I'm going to do it on the way back now, since I know I kind of... Oh, 
<laughs> that is the other good thing about the pager. The this constant has so many caveats. You don't necessarily have to have perfect timing because you can add it at different places in the sequence. If you chronically add it at the wrong place, I mean, you're probably not going to do that good, but it's not, you know, oh my God, oh my God, never do that again. There's no never do that again. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, what's my end game? Oh, he's going to be jumping with the dumbbell. How cute is that going to be? He's going to go. He's going to get the thing out of a little basket, and he's going to bring it. He'd probably do it right now. Uh, but what I was going to work him on today was that I understand that the new uh, trick needs to be. He finds, this is how I get people to appear as cameos on the show. And he's like, that's my check. I know, my house is full of checks. Uh, they're just stuffed in every cabinet because I just do mobile deposit. So I just have all these checks. One day they'll add them up and say, oh, my God. All right, look. So I just, oh, <laughs> he's just staring at me. My goodness. Oh, he's doing it too good. He's doing it too good. <laughs> so, you know, in his mind, everything he's doing is... So I just have the subtask. He already likes picking up the keys. I have to be careful that he doesn't, oh, that he doesn't go under the tree. Yay. <laughs> All right, so now I have the check and the money together. And I'm pretty sure he'll pick it up. I'm gonna bend it so it kind of sticks up a little. <laughs> oh, he's got all kind of tricks that are, oh, I dropped my money. Oh, shit. Oh, I dropped my money in my keys. That's the new, now, that's what I'm thinking, Mike. Maybe that's something people can wrap their head around. But well, what do you mean? What did they do? Oh, they find your money in your keys. Who the hell wouldn't say, oh my God, I want that. Don't do this with real checks or anything more than a dollar bill or a British pound or whatever the hell you people have over there. Oh, <laughs> oh am adorable. Oh, I got the whole crowd. Oh. <laughs> He said, why doesn't he pick it up? He sees it's already been endorsed. Hi right, there. <laughs> if you have, it's been my experience. If you have, if they don't want to pick something up, you can change the shape of something and then they will pick it up. You know, so I just changed the shape of it to look more three-dimensional. <laughs> Don't worry, Mandy, I've already deposited the check. Yeah, in fact, you could take dollar bills and origami them. The fact I was able to throw my hands in there real quick, because um, I've not worked them on this before, but. Just always remember that. Like, they don't want to pick up the basket. It's been my experience. If you turn it on the side, they will do it. It looks like a different shape or something. It looks more three-dimensional. So, anyway. He might travel with the keys. Oh, you little cutie. It's just that he got that remote. And I do. I keep it on zero. If you're like, what happened? Uh, don't ask. 
That's what I tell people to get dog tra though. Any other collar would have already bit the, this thing's only like five months old. How absolutely awful. All right, there's my pager. All right, so now the pager can mean to jump. I added a little, <laughs> I added a little jump myself. Breaking records now, Kimberly. World's lowest bulldog jump. All right, let's try it one time. Oh, How absolutely adorable. Oh, he, oh goodness, it's stuck in his tooth. <laughs> Oh, we have the whole bag for that. Oh, how absolutely adorable. Oh, he's absolutely adorable. All right, and if we're not getting any hearts for that, I don't have anything for you people. This is entertainment training. But I, if I, and this is what I kind of understand, Mike. If I had a dog and you showed me the video and you said, I'm going to go forward in time. I'm going to show you Angus on the very first day, or you already know it, and then I'm going to go forward in time, and then this is where you're at. I honestly might say to myself, I'm not sure how I got that result, you know, that Molly and Skylar are out here and all these things, and it's jumping and catching keys and all these things. So, Anyway, but that's what I did. I installed behaviors in the dog that the dog believes it wants to do. If you're saying to yourself, I'm going to, I'm going to do things, I'm going to make the dog believe it doesn't want to do things it wants to do. That's a lot harder to do. He now believes he wants to do this. You know, and if you said, well, what could you add to that? Well, you could certainly add a leash. He's just so cute. Anyway, guys, I will be back with a few more episodes of what's new. Uh... But that's where we're at, and I'm on zero. And if you said, well, he had a lot of natural ability, it took me, I can go back and find the very first videos where I was teaching him to pick up a little tiny shoe or something, but it morphed into this. And I'm pretty sure I could get him to leave that platform, go over a jump, get a dumbbell. Who knows? I may train him for an obedience champion. I may go on, I may. Uh, just get rid of all the other dogs and just take him and go around. <laughs> He's like, no, God, no. <laughs> I have to sleep nine hours a day. That's not counting all night. And that is the good part of him. And he's like, oh, he'll be out now. He'll be conked out, snoring away. So it's not a high-energy dog. What you have to be careful with, you know, and I don't recommend anybody. If you said, I'm going to get a bulldog and I'm going to use the constant. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that. You better introduce it via the pager. I did introduce it via the constant, but I, the, the, the pager was never, the constant never, uh, the pager and the constant were always occurring within a very short time frame of each other. Let's put it that way. There, were, there was never just the constant. I was always throwing the pager in there, you know, if nothing else to validate the dog finally coming to me. Anyway, that's Angus for today. And I have to admit, I mean, I was very nervous and scared when this dog came in because like, mother of God, what do we have here? So I have to say, I have i don't think I've ever loved a little bulldog more than this little bulldog. All right, guys, I'll be right back.